One. Hi, y'all. Welcome back, and hasn't it been a long time? I am so glad to have a, a chance to talk to y'all again. I, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of questions. Where's Ray? What's, how, what's going on with him? How's he? And I've gotten some of those questions in the comments, and I am doing great. I, I never knew life could be this good. Um, y'all are part of that. So, that's not why I'm making this video. This video is about where we are at in the world of lithium iron phosphate batteries today. And things have really progressed a lot. We've been on this journey, this channel has been around about four and a half years now. L little less than that. But, uh, during that time, things have gotten way better. When we started, I wanted to be able to store solar power in lithium iron phosphate batteries and the price for lithium ion batteries was through the roof. It was so expensive. I knew the only way I could afford to have a big system that could run my house was to build the batteries myself and i made this channel because i wanted to be a, there was a lot to learn and i wanted to be able to share that with others i didn't want the information that i gathered to only benefit one person i wanted to be able to use that knowledge to benefit others and so that's that's where this channel came from and i shared my journey with you every step of the way and one of the most challenging parts of buying lithium iron phosphate cells is finding someone that you can trust as a supplier if you get ripped off by a chinese supplier your recourse is very limited uh, or none if you so you you need to find someone who's trustworthy and who isn't going to take advantage of you either by overcharging you or by selling you something that's not what they advertised and so i didn't know when i started this that that was one of the biggest challenges i bought cells from three different suppliers at, at this point actually four Four different suppliers I've bought these cells from and there was one seller who was both reasonably priced and she's always been honest and that was Jenny Wu so I made a video about that experience so that the people that were in, that were following my channel learning how to build these batteries would have uh, you know a supplier that they could trust not to rip them off and so I, uh, I made a video about that experience and it became a very popular video, which is testament to the fact that people are very uh, intimidated about buying lithium iron phosphate from China, which is where it's manufactured. Well, when I started out, I could build a DIY battery for about a third of what you could buy one for, or maybe a fifth, depending on where you bought, I could, I could build these batteries for $200 per kilowatt hour. And plus all my time. And as time went on, it got to the point where the price per kilowatt hour got down close to $100 per kilowatt hour. Uh, both because the price of the cells got less and because the power of the cells got higher. And along the way, some of the manufacturers and suppliers started selling metal kits, metal boxes that came with a BMS and all you had to do was buy the box, the kit, and the cells and put it together. It took two or three hours to put it together plus the time that you might spend top balancing the cells so that you got full capacity out of the battery. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have videos that explain it. Now, 
I still like DIY because I like to know the cells. I like to be able to test the cells. I like to be able to replace the cells. I like to be able to replace the BMS if it were to go bad. I like to be able to have a full understanding of these batteries that I rely on for my electricity. Back when all that was going on, if you wanted to buy a ready-made battery, they had server rack batteries. And these were five kilowatt hour capacity batteries that were the size they were basically so that you could lift them with one person and put them into a server rack and stack them up. And, and if you put six of them in a server rack, you could have 30 kilowatt hours of storage. But the batteries I was building, you could do that with two. If you wanted to have the capacity of the battery system that I built, you would have to have 35 server rack batteries with all the complexity of getting it to communicate with itself and all that, all the connections, the, the space requirement, just, it got, it was crazy. I never, I never went that route. Now, recently, there have been batteries available that come pre-manufactured, pre-assembled, but are large capacity 48 volt batteries. And I have tested a few of them, but have not been that impressed until now. Jenny Wu contacted me and said that they were, they were making a battery that was pre-made and she said with 300 amp hour cells, uh, they must be higher than that because the capacity I'm testing from these batteries is higher than that. Uh, I, I think they're probably 314 amp hour cells that are being called 300 amp hour cells so they don't ever have to worry about whether or not they meet the, the rated capacity. But these are, um, now I haven't seen the cells, they're in the battery. The battery came pre-built. And, and this is the battery that I received. Now, this battery is, it's a quintessential black box. There's one odd thing about it. There's a panel right here that comes off and inside are the connections. I put this on myself so that I could use the Anderson connections that I like to use for connecting these batteries. Um, inside there's a, a breaker. There's all the communication ports and the dip switches to, to address the, the battery. But if I wanted to take this apart and look at the cells, I guess I'm gonna have to take this part off I'm going to have to pull the screws down there and I haven't taken this apart. I don't know what it looks like inside. I have tested it three times. I can tell you that it has an active balancer. I have never really liked active balancers because I think that if you top balance the cells, you don't need an active balancer unless you just have junk cells. Just don't do that. Right. And so, it has an active balancer. I cannot tell you whether or not it's possible to go into the software and turn the active balancer off. I would probably want to do that. However, what I have done with this battery is just charged it up, discharged it, charged it up, discharged it, and I got 16.16 kilowatt hours, I got 16.57 kilowatt hours, and I got 16.58 kilowatt hours. So 16 and a half kilowatt hours of capacity from this battery that sells for, depending on where you are, where the shipping is gonna be and that, uh, it's around $1,700 for 16 and a half kilowatt hours, right around that sweet spot of $100 per kilowatt hour, and there's no assembly required. Wow. 
this thing's heavy. It's, you know, I guess close to 300 pounds. It's on wheels. And it's got a power button on the front. Let me tell you the dimensions. This is exciting. Less than 10 inches. Which means if you put 12 of them next to each other to build a high capacity system, you're 10 feet, three meters, y'all. Wow. 26 inches deep, 31 and a half inches tall. The way I like to build these systems, I like to put the inverters above the batteries. So I could have these tucked in underneath the inverters. I could have this screen showing all the wiring could be back behind where you don't have to deal with it. And here's the screen. Now, I'm out here in the daylight, but see if I can get my camera to focus. It shows you, you know, capacity and, and current temperatures, uh, how many times it's cycled and, and all that. And then on the next page, it shows, oh, can I get it to, well, it shows each individual cell with a voltage underneath it. I can read it, but the camera's not picking it up because the sky is so beautiful in the reflection. But it shows all of the different cell voltages. And the third page has all the settings on it. So pretty straightforward, typical screen power button on the front and if you want this if you want this battery if you want a battery that you don't have to build yourself and, and I, look I know I made a lot of videos showing people how to build these batteries and I'm certain that all the people that watch those videos did not go out and build batteries. I know that a lot of them were intimidated by it. But there's no reason to be intimidated about a battery you can just buy and have delivered to your door. So if you're not willing or able to build your own batteries, you're now able to have good high capacity batteries delivered to your door, which was enough to get me back in front of the camera and make a video for y'all. I hope that the algorithm will allow it to reach a lot of people because I think this is a very exciting thing. You can reach Jenny Wu at JennyWu896 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description. If you tell her that you heard about it from me, I'll make a little money off the deal. You do not have to do that. You can just contact her and, and she'll never know that, the price you pay will be the same. She'll never know that you found out about it from this channel. Um, there's no affiliate link. It's just whether or not you choose to to tell her about my tell her my name and and then she has to talk to her boss and and that's how it works. I don't know how I don't know that it works that way any any place else, but that's how it works here. There's no affiliate link to click on. But uh, but I want you wanted you to know about this because this is a pretty exciting deal that you can buy a high quality lithium iron phosphate energy storage system for $100 a kilowatt hour pre-built and delivered to your door. Wow. Well, hope y'all's world is as good as mine. It's gotten kind of crazy in the world. Well, I think people have been saying that for all of time that, wow, it's never been so crazy. Well, 
I, maybe it is. I'm having a, I'm having a really good life. Hope you are too. Thank you for clicking on us and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.